Next up is Hyper-V, Microsoft's built-in hypervisor that comes free with Windows Server. Hyper-V is Microsoft's virtualization platform. It's included in most editions of Windows Server and integrates deeply with the Microsoft ecosystem. If your enterprise is already running Active Directory, Microsoft SQL, or Exchange, you probably already have it installed. And it works natively with the tools like System Center and Windows Admin Center. You get all the basic live migration snapshots, replication, clustering, and PowerShell automation. So what makes it different? Well, unlike VMware, Hyper-V doesn't require a separate license. If you're running Windows Server Data Center Edition, you're already licensed for unlimited virtual machines. That makes it a great go-to for budget-conscious IT teams in Microsoft-heavy environments. It's not flashy, but it's practical and stable. So here's the pros and cons. Pros? Well, for one, it's free with Windows Server. I like free. Two, it's got deep integration with Microsoft tools like Azure, Active Directory, and System Center. Also, Hyper-V is mature, it's stable, and enterprise-ready. It also comes with great management tools, including a pretty good GUI and PowerShell. It's a good option for hybrid cloud setups with Azure Arc. So what are the cons of Hyper-V? Well, for one, it's not Linux friendly, meaning you'll have limited support for non-Windows workloads. It has a smaller virtualization ecosystem compared to VMware. Also, you'll find less innovation around modern orchestration and APIs. And lastly, when it comes to Hyper-V, the user interface and experience may feel a bit dated compared to newer platforms. Bottom line, if you're a Microsoft shop through and through, Hyper-V gives you a solid cost-effective way to virtualize your infrastructure without adding licensing complexity. Just don't expect it to shine outside of that Microsoft world.